everybody, we're going to be talking about linear systems here, right from the ground up. Okay, so this will save a lot of reading time. We're going to get right into it. Okay, linear systems, first thing, the root word, line. What that means is we're dealing with a line, a straight line, not a wavy, wavy line, just a straight line. Okay, goes forever, both directions. Linear systems are all about lines. What we want to find out about these lines is the slope. Now, how can I tie this to real life? Okay, uh, you're snowboarding on a hill. Sorry, you're snowboarding and you're on a flat surface. It makes sense that there's no slope. But here, if this is you, there is a slope. You will go one direction or the other. Okay, so think of the slope like that. What we want to do is measure slope. Now, how do we do this? Well, it's like this. For every unit we go that way to the side, sorry, for every unit we go up, we compare it to how many units we go to the side. See, for this one, for example, Let's say our numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 4 and 5 there. This is our graph. We measure the rise over the run. Now, there's a formula for that. And for some reason, we call slope m. Like, for man, I can't believe why they'd say m for slope. So just remember, m is slope. Measured by calling it rise over run. Now, what does that mean? How do we work these numbers into it? Well, our rise, the distance between the, this and this, is, is 1. We can tell that 5 and 4. But what we're going to do is extend the formula here. This is a, a y value because it's on the y axis. Call it y. 2 minus y1. We'll take the second y value. Actually, it doesn't matter which one it is, as long as we're consistent. And subtract the first. And we'll put it over the second x value minus the first. Why? Because we're going to compare the difference, the space in between these two numbers. Okay. So let's say um, our first, what we should do, okay, this is all formula still. The next thing we want to do is identify our points. Because then we'll know what is what. We have a point here. The x value is 1, the y value is 4. So we have one of these. That's point A. And we have point B, which is an x value of 3 and a y value of 5. Okay. Now, watch very carefully here. x, y, x, y. If I take the second y value, let's call, since this is our first listed one, we'll call it 1, and this one will be our 2. What we get is our second y value, which is 5, minus our first y value, which is 4, that's a, that'll show our rise. And our run will be the second x value minus the first x value. And that'll be the run. Rise, run. Now we'll just calculate that out. That's 1 over 2. Okay? That's easy part. This is what you found your slope to be. So a lot of times the question will say, what is the slope? But now you'll know how to do it. You have a formula. This is the most important thing right here. Identify your points and assign what each point should be here. Now, carefully, if I did it this way, see 2 minus 1 there? I could also go like this. y1 minus y2, x1 minus x2. The important thing is consistency. The, one, the first position is getting subtracted by the second position.
Let's see what happens. Okay, y1 is, sorry, is 4. y2 is 5, so 4 minus 5 over x1 over uh, x1 minus x2. x1 is 1 minus 3. Well, that'll equal negative 1 over negative 2. Negative signs cancel out because you've got even number of negative signs. Your slope equals 1 half. We still get the same answer. So as long as you're consistent, want the first position minus the second position on both, or the second position minus the first on the both. Okay? And what this tells us is that for every rise of one unit, oops, every rise of one unit, it goes up two. Likewise, equivalent fraction, uh, for example, there's an equivalent fraction. For every rise of four units, one, two, three, four, it'll go to the run of eight units. Okay? This ratio will be the same no matter what points you ever pick on the line, forever. You could calculate slope right here, you could calculate slope here, you could calculate slope here. This ratio will always be one half because of the formula of rise over run and identifying your points.